If you're someone who wants to upload and process files with OpenAI, then you're on the correct video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can first upload the files to OpenAI, second process them, and third, delete it if needed. Okay, so stick till the very end and I will be showing everything step by step. Hello everybody, my name is Yashika Jain. I'm the founder of Automates AI. At Automates AI, we build automated systems for businesses that use the power of AI. And while building those systems, a very uh, crucial element is file processing. And that is something that we use a lot, almost in every automation. So I thought of making a tutorial on this as many other people would also need those capabilities in their automation. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see on screen, this is going to be the automation. It would be a 100% automated system. That means that it would work on a trigger and action basis. And for the people who are wondering which software I'm using, so I'm using make.com. You'll find the link to it in the description below. We use make.com for automation workflows, etc. And I have my affiliate link down below. So in case you want to sign up with them, you could. And yes, you can make this automation on a free plan as well. And for the AI capabilities, we are going to be using OpenAI API. So as you can see on screen, this is what we're going to be using. And to do so, you need to sign up with OpenAI. So the domain is openai.com. You need to create an account. Then you will be redirected to a place, something like this. There you have to select dashboard and then assistance, right? And then you have to click on create button to create a new assistant. So instead of using the chat completions, we're going to be using assistance because it provides us the option of file search and we want to process files. So we're going to be using this. So before starting with the automation, what you could do is just come over to openai.com, create a new assistant, give it a name, enter your prompt right here, select a model. So you could go with any model that enables file search. So you could say GPT-40 mini and then enable file search right here. Okay, once you do that, click on the plus button and then select vector store. Then um, you, if you have a vector store, then you could select it. If you don't have a vector store, then click on this link. This would take you to a new page. So I already have one vector store, so it's here, but I'm guessing that you don't. So you have to click on, click on the create button and then give it a name. So you could say um, my GPD vector store, something like that. It doesn't really matter. You just need to remember the name. GPT vector store. Yeah. So it's that easy. So let's go back to the assistance tab. So here you can see you have um, the file search enabled. Then we will again go on the files tab select vector store and select the vector store we had just now created so no vector stores found with this id oh okay we need the id so let's go back to storage and then um, vector stores and copy the id so it's right here just copy it come back here click on the plus button select vector store paste the id and yeah it's here so just select it no, we don't need to go there. We'll just select it and then select. Yeah, and as you can see, the vector store has been added to the file search. So if you don't know what a vector store is, don't worry, you could just think of it as a place to hold all your knowledge files. Okay, so once that is done, um, just, you know, add the prompt, add everything, and you should be good. So this is the GPT that I have. So it is a data analysis GPT and I have a few instructions. So it basically takes in sales data and gives out a, a Google Doc with all the analysis, etc. And then this is my vector store. So once you have this set up, we can go back to make.com finally. So as I said, I have a data analysis GPD. So whenever I upload any new file in my Google Drive folder, it triggers the automation. Then it downloads the file, then it uploads it to OpenAI, then it adds it to the vector store that we just now created. It then message, messages the assistant, so this particular assistant. It then um, deletes the file, so in case you don't want to keep the file there for long, you could, you could even delete it. And then it creates a Google Doc for me. 
as I said, you don't need to have the same exact automation. You just need these four. So let's start with the trigger. So for the people who are wondering how I've set this up. So you just select Google Drive and then watch files in a folder. Then you connect your Google Drive account. Then select the folder that you want to watch. As simple as that. Then we are going to download it. So you just have to map out the file ID from the first one. So if I click this, that's going to hover. So yeah, you're going to um, add the file ID. So how do you add it? You just click on it and then select the file ID just like that. Okay. And then um, I turned on the advanced settings and I click on PDF for each and every option so that um, no matter which file I upload to my Google Drive, it always converts to a PDF before going to OpenAI because OpenAI doesn't support every file format. It restricts a lot of them. So just to be on the safer side, I converted it to PDF and then upload it. It doesn't really matter um, like of which format it is because um, AI is not going to see it visually. So yeah. I just convert it into PDF once and then upload it. So if you think that your files are always going to be PDF or TXT or something that OpenAI allows, then you don't need to convert it. But if you think that sometimes you're going to add a CSV or something like that, then just have this step right there. Okay, so I hope by now you have your file in place that you want to upload. Then you're going to select the OpenAI module and in that you're going to select open a file, upload a file, sorry. Then you have to connect your OpenAI. So you just have to add your API keys here and then it's going to ask you to add the file. So if you're using um, Google Drive, then obviously it's going to show an option with Google Drive. But if you're not using it, then you could use map. OK, you could give your file any name. So name from the previous module, for example, and then the file data. So from your trigger or the previous action, you would be getting some sort of a data of the file and you have to map that out right here. So if you can't find it, just search for data or like binary data or something like that and you will find the data. So as you can see, it's like 25, 50, 44, 46. So that is the data of my file that I have mapped right here. But since um, make.com allows me to map it directly, I'm just going to select Google Drive. And then for the purpose, you're going to select assistance if you are following my approach. OK, then just click on OK and then save the scenario. So by now you have uploaded your file to OpenAI. So OpenAI has access to your file, but the assistant doesn't have access to your file. And hence, we're going to add the file to the vector store of our assistant. So you remember we created the vector store. So yeah, we're going to add the file to it so that our assistant can access it. OK, so again, select OpenAI and this time go with add files to a vector store. OK, so open it. I'm sure you have a connection by now. So just select your API key here. Then for this one, select choose vector store because we've already created the vector store and then it will ask you the vector store ID. So if you click on it, you could um, just put in the name. So right now we just created GPD vector store. So I showed it to you. So you could select that. But since I already have my data analysis GPD um, vector store set up, I'm going to select mine. OK, so select whichever vector store you had just now created. Now the file ID. So we are attaching a file to the vector store. So we need to tell it that which file you need to attach. So it is going to be the file that we uploaded in this particular module. So for that, you're going to just map out the file ID. You just have to click on it and it's going to come here, right? And if you can't find it, just search it here and then go with OK and then save it. Great. So by now you have uploaded the file, you have attached it to the assistant so that it has access to it. Now it's time for the processing. So by that, I mean that we need to message the assistant and get a response. Right. So this is just like the chat completion. The only difference is that um, the main prompt is here instead of here. OK. Yeah. So that's the only difference. So next up, you're going to select open AI message and assistant. And this time you're going to select the assistant that you had created. So I'm going to go with mine. OK. Data analysis GPD. And this time you're going to select the role as user because um, the rest of it has been already added. The system prompt is added. We don't need to add all of that again. We just need to add a small message. Okay. 
so i hope you have added the system prompt here successfully and then you just need to add a small message saying that um, the file has been uploaded um, just analyze it and respond as instructed okay so um, yeah you don't need to put a very big message here because you've already given the prompt you just have to tell it that the file has been uploaded kindly analyze it and respond right and um, yeah if you want to add any more information then you could otherwise this should work and yeah the output type that you're seeing as html isn't needed in your scenario it's just needed in mine because i am creating a google docs out of the response that i'm getting and only because of that i want the response from openai to be in html format so you could skip it if you are not creating a google docs with your response if that makes sense so just go with this okay yeah nothing else to be has to be added you just have to add in about um, this that we have uploaded the file just analyze it click on ok and save it now what happens you've already uploaded the file um, the assistant has access to it and now you've given a command to it um, regarding you know doing the task that you want it to do with the file now the next step would be to delete it so for deleting the file we have this particular endpoint so you have to select http and then make a request and then you will see something like this add on this url so you have to add it until here then for this particular id you will find it in openai so you have to go back here you have to select storage then vector stores and then copy the id and paste it right here it would be slash files and then the file id that is going to come from the module of upload a file so you have to select this so it basically means that it is going to delete this file from the vector store so that the gpt cannot access it in the next few runs right so that's how it works again it's completely optional and then the method is going to be delete and then authorization then bearer and here you have to add your openai api key right then these headers just copy it from the video and then just select no and that's it everything remains blank so click on ok so this would delete the file from the assistant or you can say the vector store so that the next time the assistant cannot access it so it's just a one time thing right and next you could have any action it it really depends on what you want to do with the response um, by openai so in my case i want to create a document um, using the response that i get from openai so i have this setup so the name is going to be sales data analysis and the date um, for today then the result comes from this module right and that's it so i create a new document with that and uh, yeah that is how the automation is set up so if you want to see my system prompt then you're going to see it one second here yeah so my system prompt is that you are an expert data analyst and then i have told it about how um, it has to do the analysis like give the sales calculation product identification blah 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 and then i've told it to give the response in html format so that i have a visually appealing google docs okay and then his its role then a few notes then what to do what not to do and that's it that's how my system prompt is and that's how my gpt works okay so now we can finally go ahead and test it so let me add my openai api keys right here and then test it okay so i have added my api keys and as you know it triggers when i upload a file in a folder and this is the folder so i have this um sample sales data from some random website that i'm using to test this automation so let me just copy it again right okay so that creates a new file in the folder now i will just turn on the automation yep okay run once and it's going to pick up the file then it's going to upload it to openai it's going to attach it to the vector store message the assistant 
to use the file and do an analysis so this is going to take time so let me just pause the recording yeah so that is done and then it's going to delete the file because i don't want it to stay there and then it would create the google docs for me so you could also add an additional step saying that it would send you a slack message with the google doc attached but i didn't go that much into depth depth because my main goal was to show you how you can add the file processing capability so this is the web view link let me open the file yeah so this is the file that the gpt has created and it has been entirely formatted by it so um sales analysis report total sales calculation i don't know i just found this data online and i used it nothing too serious so, okay this was the top product then peak uh, sales days so it was march 3 okay and then a few more information some tables some trends and conclusion so i feel it's a pretty good um google sheet uh, google doc and yeah that's how you add the file processing capability to your assistant and then use the file and keep it if you want or delete it i hope you found the video helpful if you have any questions just drop them down in the comments below i have my affiliate link for make.com in case you want to build the automation and sign up with them and um the rest of it is on openai.com you could go ahead and make an account there and yeah so let me know if you have any other questions that's it for this video and if you're looking for workflow automations for your business or automated systems for your business then don't forget to check out the description below thank you so much have a nice day bye